So here I am in a 2023 Tesla Model 3 LFP. It has 18,445 miles. It's my daughter's car, as you can see by the image. It is 5.47 a.m. late May 2024, 67 degrees out in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And am I headed? I am headed to Roanoke, Virginia. It is storming. It's busy. And I will keep you posted as we go. Just a quick intro as I take off here early this morning. All right, so um, we are headed to Roanoke, Virginia from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. You'll see it's uh, two miles on the current trip um, since charge. And I'm probably going to relabel trip A, Roanoke trip, if I have permission. Again, I'm in my daughter's uh, Model 3 LFP. It does do a tremendous job with efficiency. It's at 231 watt-hours per mile on the total life of the vehicle. And you'll see the first stop right now. Now, I'm in heavy rain bad weather but it's estimating that i go 180 miles to new boston texas and arrive at 13 percent charge there for a brief period of time and ride on so i'm going to play with that as i go i may stop there i may stop somewhere else we'll see how uh, how it goes as we head that direction but uh, smooth comfortable quiet ride um, you may hear her dog panting in the background or you may hear her in the background at times so we are road tripping uh, to virginia um she is on a vacation break and uh, riding with me, and uh, I have agreed to drive her car all the way to Roanoke, Virginia. So here we go, another uh, Tesla road trip for summer of 2024. So here I am, got full self-driving running, 32 miles under the trip, 301 watt hours per mile, so terrible efficiency. It is raining, heavy winds, may be tough to see in the video, but... Um, yeah, this isn't easy. This is not an easy drive starting out at 627 a.m., 65 degrees. I'm going to try to make it to the supercharger in New Boston, which is a newer version 3 right off the interstate. But I may have to stop in Sulphur Springs, Texas at a version 2 just for a quick top off. Um, you see it's just dropped already to 7% estimated, 8% estimated. It's really struggling to figure out if we can make it there. I mean, it's only 150 miles away. We have 75% in the battery, shouldn't be a problem, but uh, this weather is just terrible. So we'll see what happens and I will keep you informed as we ride along here. So here's a trip update in this 2023 Model 3 rear wheel drive LFP. Terrible, terrible efficiency this morning, 309 watt hours per mile. It is super, super windy, raining the entire way and wind whipping the car kind of all over the road. So um, taking it very easy, uh, but we're gonna have to stop at uh, Sulphur Springs, which is a few miles off the interstate and it's a version two. But we're gonna have to stop there and throw a little bit of charge on to continue on. Uh, unless I would go very, very slow, I'm not gonna make it to New Boston without charging, which is disappointing, but it's weather related. This happens in an EV you hit heavy, heavy weather, you've got to adjust. Fortunately, with Tesla, there are superchargers all over the place, so it was no big deal. The car recalculated, wants me to stop and solve for, for 25 minutes. I don't know that I'll stay there that long. I may just do a quick uh, splash and dash and ride on to New Boston. So we'll see how it goes. Um, headed there now, we'll be there within the hour, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. But uh, you'll see my estimated uh, state of charge remaining it was at 47 percent originally to sulfur now it's down to 30 percent so it is just eating up the juice here this morning as i ride along through the dallas fort worth area now there's been a lot of really bad weather in dallas uh, tornadoes major storms it's late may of 2024 so we're catching the tail end of that and we've got wind uh headwind just pushing us backwards and uh, it's blowing the car all over the road so that's really the big issue and it's all wind related so uh, we'll keep an eye on it we're gonna ride on get a quick charge in sulfur and go from there so we are 20 minutes and 19 miles out from the supercharger in sulfur springs you'll see i'm only going to ride with 29 percent state of charge but it just started preconditioning the battery for fast charging so it is wanting me to stop there for 30 minutes, which I'm more than likely not going to do. Um, I'll probably charger hop. I'll do a splash and dash for 10 or so minutes and jump to the next charger. We'll see how it goes here. Um, 
once I get to this charger, I'm going to map out a little bit on the navigation and figure out how many stops I need to make today. As I mentioned earlier, just getting terrible efficiency at 316 watt hours per mile. And you can see this car is super efficient overall, 231 watt hours per mile. So it's just weather related. Hopefully the weather will clear up later today, but it looks like I may be driving in rain the entire day. The plan is to stay somewhere in Tennessee tonight, uh, Jackson or Nashville, Mount Juliet, somewhere along there. But it's going to depend a lot on how long this uh, charging is going to take all day and uh, what time of night um, we're going to get into the hotel. So we'll see. I, ideally, I'd like to get east of Nashville, but I'm not sure that that'll happen today with the weather. So we'll see what happens and uh, stay following along for the rest of the ride. But 69 degrees out, it is warming up a little bit. I'm hoping that the rain lets up some as I continue to travel. But um, hopefully optimistic. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here's an update. I'm driving through Sulphur Springs, Texas right now. Um, it does take you off the interstate, but it rides in the direction of the interstate. There's an old school Dairy Queen drive-in. Interesting. Anyway, um, shows seven charging stalls will be available upon arrival. You'll see that seven there. Still preconditioning for fast charging. It now shows we'll be there for about 15 minutes, just putting on a, a quick bit of juice to get to New Boston. Um, 314 watt hours per mile. Of course, that's improved since I've gotten off the interstate. And uh, we'll kind of see how this goes. Um, not sure yet how far I'm going to go today and how far I can make it um, until I need to stop at the hotel. So. Like I said, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna get plugged in here. The supercharger's right here on the right. I'm heading around to it now. And uh, gonna get plugged in. So I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, I arrived with 30% and I'm crawling out of this Model 3. And you can see these chargers have been here a while. I'm plugging into stall 4A right now. And let's see, we're communicating. So the flashing blue means we're communicating. And then it'll go green here in just a second, showing that we are charging. If all goes well. And there we go, we're green. Let's check out what kind of speeds we're getting. Getting back into Model 3. 14 kilowatts, 29 kilowatts. Let's just make sure this thing ramps up and charges properly in case I have to move the car. 73, 74, 83, so we're up past the half split, meaning it's not power sharing, 102, 113. So we are off to the races. Of course, it is slow because it's a version two, but uh, this car only charges up to 175 and we're getting 144, which is to be expected. Should be here about 10 minutes and I will keep you updated. This thing is actually charging pretty well. It's already added uh, like 7%. It's still holding at 144 kilowatts. It's just such a small pack. It just juices up really quick. So I like it. Um, I'm trying to figure out my route and how far I'm gonna go, but I am gonna hit New Boston next, which is you know only maybe an hour and a half away and uh, stop there for a quick charge, then Hope, then probably Little Rock. So I may follow this uh, general path, but uh, I'm still figuring it all out. I'm gonna figure out how far I can get today. A lot is gonna depend on the weather and if my uh, efficiency improves as I go. So we'll see what happens. And uh, I, of course, as always, I will keep you informed. So I've been here a little over 10 minutes. I've got plenty of charge to continue, but I'm still pulling over 100 kilowatts at 69% state of charge. This thing charges great. I'm really impressed with it. Um, to go from 30% to 70% in that short period of time, I wanted to see if it dropped off at 70, and it doesn't. It's still pulling 100 kilowatts. So I'm gonna unplug though and roll. I'm gonna get to New Boston with plenty of juice. So there, it just dropped uh, below 100, so time to roll. Okay, so that was a quick charging session. Um, still not getting great efficiency, but the battery's hot from the supercharger, so that'll improve here over time, but showing 360 watt hours per mile. Um, of course, I am running at highway speeds, and I've got under an hour to the next stop, so I'm just charger hopping right now. Really, really dreary, cloudy day. A 
a lot of wind. Um, it's not raining right now, which is a positive, so maybe my efficiency will improve, but I've got it running on FSD. I've got the car doing the work and uh, headed on in this Model uh, 3 LFB. I do love the uh, charging speeds. You know, you plug in at a uh, higher state of charge and it'll hold 150 kilowatts for a while, which my Model Y does not do, but the Model Y has such a bigger battery, it's almost comparable. This just has less overall range. Kind of interesting, and I'm gonna follow along as I go here today. But uh, so far, this is truly a great car, and I'm enjoying the ride in this uh, Model 3. So I will keep you posted. So I have changed up the next charging stop. You see I've driven 46 miles so far and 329 watt hours per mile. Not great, but it is improving. And it looks like I can make it to the supercharger in Nash, Texas. I've, I don't think I've ever been to this one. It's right by uh, Texarkana. It is a version three. Let's take a look and see. It is a 20 stall version three. I can't recall being there. I'll know once I pull in, but I know it's a fairly new one. All 250 kilowatt. And I should arrive there with about 16%. So uh, I'm only 40 minutes out. I'm gonna bypass New Boston shoot straight to uh, Nash and uh, see how it goes. So looking forward to checking that charger out and then I'll map out the next one after that. So um, I believe that efficiency should improve throughout the day here. It is warmed up at 72 degrees now. There's still a little bit of rain and some wind, but I do think my uh, range is going to improve here as the day goes. So I'm um, hopefully um, I'm optimistic, I'm cautiously optimistic, whatever you want to call it, but looking forward to uh, getting to this next charger and figuring it out. Okay, so here's an update, 74 miles in, 316 watt hours per mile. So you'll see the overall trip to Roanoke so far, 177 miles today and 316 watt hours per mile, not great. We are only 19 miles out from the next charger at Nash. It's right off Kings Highway. Um, I've been thinking about it. I do believe I've been there at least one time and have charged. Um, so anyway, yeah, making good progress. It's 70 degrees out. It's stopped raining. The roads are dry. I'm thinking efficiency is going to improve here after this next stop as it warms up a little bit and uh, remains dry and the winds settle down. It's just a, still a little bit windy, but not bad. And uh, yeah, the trip's going well. Um, running on full self-driving and the car's doing a great job. And I uh, couldn't be happier riding along. This is a great riding car. It's very smooth, comfortable, tons of room. And uh, I'm liking it. So I am five miles out, five minutes out, and I just started preconditioning for fast charging. Battery's sitting at 20%. Should arrive at 18, down to 311 watt hours per mile. So efficiency is improving slightly. 73 degrees out, a um, little bit of sun, no rain. I'm hoping it stays dry here for the next couple of legs. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out where my uh, stopping point's gonna be for tonight. Jackson, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, or Mount Juliet, Tennessee, somewhere in that area. Um, I really don't want to drive till, you know, eight or nine o'clock tonight. So I'm hoping to get into the hotel by five, six, seven at the latest. So we'll see. Um, I thought I could make Mount Juliet, no problem, but with the efficiency I'm getting, that's going to be challenging to get there before seven. So let's see what happens. And, uh, I will update by lunchtime. I plan to make a decision and book a hotel to stay at tonight. Okay, I am about to pull into the supercharger here in Nash, and this is a brand new installation. I have not been here before. There's a nice Model 3 performance plugged in. I'm just going to plug in down here at the end. These are all version 3s. It really doesn't matter. And uh, we should get fast charging speeds sitting at 18% state of charge and let me get plugged in and show you how how it does so bear with me just one second get backed up good there we are okay and let me get plugged in gotta get out of this model three first you can tell it's a version three there's no silver on the handle it's a, a smaller cable too and there we 
it's communicating. Should charge very fast. Here we go. Already going green. Let's take a look and check the charging rate. It should ramp right up. It says four minutes remaining to charge. Let's see what speeds we get up to. We're at 122 kilowatts already. 139, 157, 171. And that should be about the max of this car, Model 3 LFP. So it's doing great. I only need a few minutes here. So here's a trip update. I was at the last stop just a few minutes. Um, it got all the way up to 50%. I've now driven um, another 12 miles, and I'm going to stop in 20 minutes at Hope, Arkansas, which is another version 3 supercharger. And I'm going to charge there for probably 15 to 20 minutes to make it all the way to Little Rock, which will be the next charger. Um, but my efficiency is improving. You'll see on this leg, I'm already down to 286 watt hours per mile. So no rain. No wind. I'm in Arkansas. Uh, already have driven 210 miles so far today, so making great progress. Um, thinking about going to the Hampton Inn in Mount Julia, Tennessee. And that started out at 8 o'clock. I've got it down to 7.30 now. Uh, I'm going to see how I do at the next charging stop. And like I said, I'll make a decision by noon. Um, it, it's got too long, you know, times in here, like Brinkley, an hour and five minutes. That's not happening. I'll put a stop in between, and I think I can get this down to arrive in Mount Juliet before 7, and then that would be the plan, more than likely. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. So, time will tell. For now, I am riding on and uh, enjoying the ride. Let's see how the weather holds out the next few hours, and I'll have a better gauge for how far I can make it here on the trip today. Again, so far today, though, 212 miles, 309 watt hours per mile. It is rapidly improving as I ride uh, through better weather conditions and better road conditions. So, yes, yeah, Model 3 LFP is great. The charging super fast. Usually what it's recommending here, it's saying hard hope uh, 20 minutes. I, I think it'll take less. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here's a trip update. I um, rearranged the supercharging stops. Uh, manually. And what I did is I clicked here and I clicked edit trip. I added Hope, Memphis, and Dixon. And what that's done is given me charging stops that are all about 20 minutes apiece. And it will get me to the hotel in Mount Juliet, Tennessee at 6.59 p.m. And depending on efficiency, I'm down to 278 watt hours per mile running at highway speeds. If this continues to improve, uh, you know, I might be able to make it there by 6.30 or 6. So, uh, realistically, I think between 6.30 and 7 uh, should be reasonable as long as I don't hit any major weather. I'm going to wait to book the hotel until I get to Little Rock and charge there. That'll give me a better idea. And we'll see what happens. But all in all, I'm uh, doing well. Uh, about 14 minutes from the charger in Hope, where I'll get plugged in and uh, juice up very quickly and head on to the uh, next charger. So... More info to follow. Okay, time for another update. Uh, it's only a couple minutes later, but I am preconditioning for fast charging now, so that's good. So, you know, I'm going to ride with 35%. Should hit around 150 kilowatts. This is a version 3. It's a 16 stall. You'll see there are two cars en route. There should be 16 stalls available upon arrival. And uh, this one's right off the interstate, so... You'll see it's about 0.4 of a mile off the interstate, so I'm going to get there in just a few minutes, get plugged in, and I will give you an update on how fast uh, it charges. Okay, so here I am, 1.1 miles from the exit of uh, for Hope, Arkansas, which is the uh, Supercharger version 3. It's a big one. I think it's a 24-stall uh, version 3. Um, 34 miles into this drive, 280 watt-hours per mile. You'll see overall now this Roanoke trip is at 207 watt hours per mile, so it's improved. And uh, just maybe follow along here as I get off the exit, and we'll see where this charger's at. You'll see it becomes evident on the screen. And it's not far, it's right off the exit. And this is also a newer charger, fairly new, um, as well as that last one um, is fairly new. So let's take a look. So we're just gonna get off the exit. And I think I was mistaken, it's a 16 stall. You'll see it up there, labeled. And we're 
just going to jump off this exit. We're going to go down to the stop line and uh, stop sign and turn right. And then uh, we're going to turn left into the parking lot here to get to the uh, supercharger. You'll see some vehicles pulled off here to the side. Let me get around them. And we're turning right, and then up here um, at this stop sign, that's where I'm going to turn right. And then I will just bear into the left, right here at this Wendy's, this uh, Baskin Robbins. It's at this stop. I've been at this one quite a few times, charging multiple different cars, but it's a new one. And the chargers are back here against the bank. And let's go ahead and get plugged in. I've got another Tesla behind me I can see in the rear view mirror. We're just going to get plugged in down here at the end and uh, hope we get some fast speeds and uh, a quick charge. So let me get backed in. And there's that gray Tesla that was just behind me. They'll be backing in probably in just a second. Okay. And that's a uh, Model Y with the 20-inch uh, induction wheels. <clears throat> and let's get plugged in right here is the uh, charger. <clears throat> Should go green in just a few seconds. Boom, there it is. And let's take a look and see how fast of a charge rate we get. And keep in mind, we're at 36%. We're already up to 130 kilowatts. 151. Wow, 172. That's the highest we've seen this trip, and that's at 36%. So, great job, Tesla. It shows 9 minutes here instead of 20 minutes. So... Uh, much, much faster than expected. We'll see how it goes, and I'm going to take a quick break. Here's the 16 stall version 3 250 kilowatt charger in Hope, Arkansas. Right off the interstate, it's at an Exxon. There's a McDonald's, a Wendy's, tons of amenities that are open 24 hours. And here's the Model 3 LFP charging up quickly, and it'll be ready to go until I get to it. So, yeah. Overall, uh, been a good trip so far, and I will update you in another minute. So I wanted to give you another update, uh, making really good progress. It's 10, 11 a.m. Um, Central Time, 77 degrees. I am about an hour from Little Rock. Um, if the Tesla supercharger has availability, it's a 10 stall, 150 kilowatt. If it has availability and there's uh, less than five cars there, or I'm not splitting charge, I will stop there and juice up pretty quickly. If it's booked up, then I'll stop the Electrify America in Little Rock, which is off of Baseline Road at the Walmart, which shows seven of the eight chargers available, <clears throat> and I've had success charging there before. The problem with Electrify America is sometimes it takes five to ten minutes to get hooked up because half of the chargers don't work right, even though they say they do. Uh, they're defective. So I have the CCS adapter here with me. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it as I get close. Looks like I'm going to hit Little Rock about 1119, so I may beat the uh, lunch rush and I may be able to get in there, get juiced up for a quick 15 or so minutes, and take off before um, it gets too busy. So we'll see what happens. But efficiency has just been improving. Um, again, no rain, and we're at 281 watt hours per mile. Uh, for the last 23 miles. So, not great. I would expect a lot better out of a Model 3 rear-wheel drive LFP, but I had really bad weather starting out the trip. So, um, I'm at 303 miles overall, 303 watt-hours per mile overall, 257 miles so far for the day. I left at 5.45 a.m., so been on the road about four and a half hours and uh, 257 miles in. Just... Had, uh, had to make some extra charging stops, as you saw, uh, that I wouldn't have to make in a longer range vehicle. So 
This car, I believe, is rated for 272 or 267 miles uh, full charged. And you'll see at 58%, it's predicting 151 miles. So it just, you know, real world on the road, it'll maybe get 200-ish miles on highway speeds, maybe a little over that. Um, and uh, with these terrible conditions, it hasn't been doing that. But here's the good news. With the stops I've added and with the current trip plan, I should hit the hotel in Mount Juliet at 6.44 p.m. So uh, once I get here to Little Rock, I'm probably going to go ahead and book that hotel, uh, see how the charge goes at Little Rock, because after that, the next stop will be Brinkley, which is a V3, uh, Memphis is a V3, Jackson's a V3, and Dixon, I'm a little questionable on, it's a V2, but I may hit that one um, as well. So. We'll see what happens, and I will keep you posted, but uh, doing good so far. Should arrive with about 21% on the battery, and should get juiced up pretty quickly. Let's see what happens. And here's more of the Model 3 efficiency I've been looking for. 266 watt hours per mile now, and uh, 297 overall. So, 81 degrees, uh, the roads are clear, um, the weather's good, you know, there's no rain. And now we're finally getting decent highway efficiency in the Model 3 rear-wheel drive LFP. So next stop's gonna be Little Rock, Arkansas. Not sure if I'm gonna stop at the Electrify America or the Tesla Charger yet. I'm waiting to see. Um, with one of the recent updates, it doesn't show you how many stalls are at the Charger currently until you get within about 30 minutes or 30 miles. It just shows a lightning bolt on the Charger. And if I click it, it just says they're all available upon arrival. <clears throat> says 10 stalls available upon arrival. But as I get closer, what will happen is that will update and show a number on the map. And I'll know uh, if there's five stalls or less available, I don't want to stop there and split a charge. I'll try the Electrify America. But if there's a, you know, eight or 10 of those stalls are available, uh, I want to go ahead and go to the Tesla charger and uh, avoid dealing with Electrify America activation and just general functionality. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I did check the EA station again. Right now it shows five of the eight chargers available. One of them is down for maintenance, and uh, two of them have cars plugged in. So we will see what happens, and I will keep you posted. 263 watt hours per mile, doing a great job. I'm 59 miles into this drive so far, and I've just got 40 more miles to go. So be stopping in Little Rock in roughly 40 minutes. So I'm still riding along, 260 watt hours per mile, 71 miles uh, into the trip, 28 miles to the supercharger, and it's still just showing the lightning bolt. Uh, even when I click it, it's not showing me how many stalls are available. It just says all 10 stalls upon arrival, which, you know, isn't accurate. So uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. This is a recent change. It used to show you on all of them uh, how many were available, and I think since the... Uh, Nax, um, to CCS, you know, or CCS to Nax, whatever, since they opened them up third party, it's kind of changed the software in the cars, so, um, it's interesting, um, I've got to decide, you know, do I hit the Electrify America or do I hit the Tesla Charger, uh, it's really going to be determined on availability at Tesla, and I can't tell that yet, so, I'm going to check again in about 10 minutes, and I will update you. Okay, so it just updated, it shows six stalls available upon arrival, 2B is out of order, two cars in route, so this is really uh, questionable. I might be one of the two cars in route, but uh, it just updated it at about 25 miles to go. So I guess when you get within 20 or 25 miles, it will now show the appropriate data. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to watch it for the next 10 or so minutes, and I will make a decision with about 10 miles to go if I stop at the Tesla Supercharger, or if I continue on, uh, it's about five minutes to the Walmart EA station, um, the trade off the exit. Um, so we'll see, um, not decided yet. I wanna keep an eye on it and make a decision. So here I am, I am headed to the Electrify America off Baseline Road. I have the Tesla supercharger plugged in as a backup option. You'll see right below it. It's just maybe five minutes up the road. And uh, doing really good on efficiency. 257 watt hours per mile. Driven 90 miles. Got about 10 miles to go. So this is about a 100 mile leg, but you'll see overall 324 miles. 292 watt hours per mile. It's 79. I'm in the Little Rock area now. 
and uh, the car's done great. Um, had to make a couple extra charging stops, as you've seen, but uh, all in all, it's been a smooth, uneventful ride, and uh, looking forward to getting this charger and getting juiced up. More info to follow. Okay, so I'm plugged in here at the Electrify America at the Walmart. I'm on stall number seven. Beside it is number eight with a Chatamo and a CCS. But right away, it ramped right up. Um, took a little bit to activate, but uh, no big deal. 148 kilowatts. We've got a Lucid here. Several other cars charging. Um, so, yeah, overall, this is a decent stop. I've been to this one before. And uh, I shouldn't have to charge here very long. 35 minutes to fill the car all the way up, but I should only have to go to maybe 50% because I'm going to remove at a trip. Okay, done. And it's going to want us to do Little Rock. And I am going to tell it to remove charging stops. So the one we're going to go to next, I'm going to add Brinkley, Arkansas. Let's find it. It's right here. We're going to add that as a stop. So now we're going to again tell it to remove all charging stops. So it'll just do Brinkley. Yep, so I'm almost charged enough to go to Brinkley. I need like three more percent, but uh, we'll sit here for a little bit and get charged up. Okay, I'm about to get unplugged. 55% very, very quickly. Still charging 113 kilowatts. 248 watt hours mile for the last leg. And let me just show you the CCS uh, one adapter. I'm going to hit stop charging and unlock charging port. And we're gonna go ahead and get it unplugged. And it is right here. It's just a matter of pulling that out. Okay, so all charged up and we are back on the road, 11.38 a.m. So been driving, uh, what is that, about uh, six hours? And uh, yeah. Driven 346 miles so far, 288 uh, watt hours per mile. I've burnt 100 kilowatt hours of energy. And uh, 11 miles into this drive, and you'll see 282 watt hours per mile. That should improve as I drive. 18% estimated remaining, and I am headed to the supercharger in Brinkley, Arkansas. And I'm less than an hour away, I'm 62 miles away. I'm on 440 East, about to connect with 40 East, and car is running in full self-driving. It's doing its thing. Uh, it's made the drive uh, very smooth so far. It's doing a great job. And uh, right now, oh, I was going to show you my estimated time to the, uh, you'll see it's changing lanes out of the passing lane. I get a lot of comments about that. But let's take a look and see estimated time of arrival to the hotel, 6.37 p.m. So I've not booked it yet, but I'm going to book it here at the next charger. Um, and get us set up to arrive into Mount Juliet, Tennessee tonight. Probably, I'm going to estimate between 6.30 and 7, depending on traffic going through Nashville. So, more info to follow. So, this was the kind of efficiency I was expecting. You know, 257 watt hours per mile, traveling at highway speeds, 82 degrees. It's finally a little bit sunny. The roads are dry and clear. Now we're doing good, uh, 285 watt hours per mile overall, which isn't great, 364 miles. But the car's opened up now and it's it's doing great. Um, I've got 39 minutes, 45 miles to Brinkley. Should arrive with about 20%. And, you know, I'm feeling more and more confident that each charging stop will be less estimated time of charge um, because the car is operating at the expected efficiency, I should say, around four miles per kilowatt hour, uh, meaning I can go easily over 200 miles on the charge. Um, should be good now, and uh, looking forward to getting to the hotel this evening in about six hours. We've already been driving six hours, so six more hours to go. Um, that's a long day from the Dallas-Fort Worth area to just east of Nashville, Tennessee, in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Okay, here's another quick update. It's beautiful out now, 83 degrees. It's been fairly sunny, partly cloudy, whatever the meteorologists would call it, but uh, making much better time now and uh, much better efficiency, 255 watt-hours per mile. You'll see 63 miles in 51 minutes, and uh, overall 398 miles since I left the house in Dallas-Fort Worth, and 283 watt-hours, not bad consumption 
overall, given how bad it was starting out with that uh, weather and the rain and the winds. Huge 40-mile-an-hour uh, winds in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Anyway, it should be to Brinkley here in about 10 minutes. Uh, it's right off the exit. Been to this charger many times. And um, it's an 8-stall version 3, 250 kilowatt. It shows there's uh, a few cars there now. Let's take a look. So, yeah, six stalls available upon arrival. No big deal. Uh, we'll get there, get plugged in. And uh, I doubt it'll need 20 minutes, probably more like 10 to 15. And then on to Memphis, Tennessee, to North Germantown Parkway. Also been to that charger quite a few times. So just uh, riding along. And good news is uh, ETA now is showing 6.29 p.m. to the Hampton Inn in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. So uh, picking up the pace, um, gaining some ground because of efficiency and faster charging. And that Electrify America stop helped because the Tesla charger was congested. So I saved some time there. And uh, all in all, um, looks like we'll be able to make that journey from the Dallas-Fort Worth area to east of Nashville in just under 12 hours, I think, total. Um, we'll see how it all works out. I will keep you posted. All right, I just got off the Brinkley, Arkansas exit, and I am headed to the supercharger now, which is right up here on the right. And it's in this parking lot with a Waffle House that I've eaten at maybe more than once. Uh, um, it's actually a pretty good Waffle House. There's a Sonic, and then there is a uh, Food Giant store in the parking lot. So not a ton of options here, but it's right off the interstate, super fast charger, and it works great. And uh, not a lot of cars there, so I'm going to get plugged in, and we'll see how fast we charge. We should pull um, a little over 170 kilowatts at this state of charge, and I'll probably uh, charge up to close to 70%. Need to take a little bit of a break here, and you'll see there's uh, one Model Y plugged in charging now, and we're just gonna back in down here near the end and uh, go ahead and get plugged in. And let's see what this does. There you'll see the park assist. If I press the P, it would park for me. But I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to get backed in real close. And I'm going to jump out and get plugged in and let's see how the charging goes. take a look at how fast so it's saying nine minutes instead of 20 minutes so already it's expecting way faster response than estimated I'm gonna turn on dog mode in the car and I'm gonna hit that and we jumped right up over 170 kilowatts as expected so great job Tesla and we are charging so here's the Tesla supercharger in Brinkley eight stalls 250 kilowatts a New China restaurant, McDonald's across the street, Sonic, that food giant right behind me, the Waffle House over there. Um, it's a decent stop, just not, you know, late at night, there's no amenities, but it works well. There's the Model 3 LFP, and uh, it's been a good trip so far. So thanks for following along. So I'm here uh, finishing charging. It says one more minute remaining and uh, we're at 101 kilowatts at 52%, so it's doing a great job. Um, Sean, I'm gonna get there at 618 now, so uh, everything's on track. I could take off now, but uh, I need a bio break, so it's gonna take me longer than it's gonna take the car, and uh, I'm gonna be here just a few more minutes, and then I'm gonna take off, but great job, Tesla. This thing's doing a good job. I'm impressed with it, and uh, I will be continuing on in just a minute. So here's a trip update, still experiencing pretty good weather, 82 degrees out, it's 1.08 p.m. Central Time, 30 miles into this uh, last leg here, um, 25 minutes and 287 watt-hours per mile, that'll improve here as we go, 
overall 281 watt hours per mile and 440 miles into this trip to Roanoke, Virginia. You'll see I'm uh, headed to the supercharger on North Germantown Parkway in Memphis, and uh, we're 54 minutes from that charger. Should only be there 10 or so minutes. Um, I'll probably just get out, plug in, and then uh, check my email and then take off. It's going to be a quick charge, I would uh, assume. Don't think I need to be there long because uh, you'll notice the next charger is only about an hour away in Jackson, and that's a uh, big one at that Casey Jones Railroad Museum. It's now a 24 stall version 3. It may have some old version 2 posts, but um, that should be a good charge there, and I'll probably stay there longer, um, stretch my legs, use the restroom, use the facilities, look around, whatever. So, but my guess there is probably only 20 minutes at uh, Casey Jones, maybe a 5-10 minute top up at uh, Dixon, and then on to the hotel, pushing closer to a 6 p.m. ETA as we continue on. Um, just hoping I get through Memphis uh, uneventfully uh, for traffic, and it should be. You know, it is Friday uh, in late May, but um, it's only one in the afternoon. Now, the concern is gonna be Nashville, you know, hitting Nashville right around 5.30, 6 o'clock, so on a Friday. May hit some traffic around Nashville, but uh, may be able to bypass it, so I'll stay optimistic and uh, I will keep you posted here shortly as I get to the next supercharger on this uh, trip. You will notice I made a number of extra stops that I wouldn't make in my Model Y. This just has a smaller battery. It charges really well, low into the pack, up to about uh, 70%, and so I've just been splashing and dashing, you know, a quick stop, uh, five to ten minute top up every hour and a half or so, and then on to the next uh, stop. So you'll notice this will be an hour and a half driving. Time to stretch my legs for a minute, plug in, check email, and until I do that, I'll be ready to take off to the next stop. And, and these are chargers that are right off the highway too, So, and I know them. Anyway, I will keep you updated here as we go. Okay, so I'm just crossing into Memphis. Unfortunately, it started to rain again. Um, 23 minutes out, 22 miles uh, from the supercharger on the other side of Memphis. It's uh, They call it North Germantown Parkway, but the charger's east of Memphis off of uh, I-40. I yeah. Anyway, um, I'm about to cross a bridge here, uh, going across to Memphis, and you will see the uh, pyramid up here uh, on the left. It was a sporting stadium, and now it's a store. I think it's a Bass Pro Shop. Uh, I've never been in, in inside. Uh, I need to stop and do that. I say it every time I pass it. One of these days, I will stop and walk around and visit. But, uh, yeah, just check it out up here on the left as I uh, drive across this bridge going into Tennessee from Arkansas. So I just passed through West Memphis, Arkansas, and we're literally entering Tennessee right now. Across the water, over there's the city of Memphis, and over here is the pyramid. I know it uh, may be a little hard to see. I can't really zoom in right now. I've got to pay attention to the car and the traffic and everything. But right over there, kind of angled a little to the left, is a pyramid. So it is a Bass Pro Shop, and there is the Welcome to Tennessee sign, the Volunteer State. Very cool. Making progress, getting closer to the hotel. Tennessee 177 or Germantown Pike and uh, let's see I think 
think I go through just a few lights and then I pull down in, I believe there's an EA station and uh, also a Tesla supercharger, which is where I'm headed. Um, I think there's a Target, a PetSmart, and several other uh, restaurants and whatever all around. Let's see if this is the one I was thinking of. So we're getting off this exit. And then we're going to loop around here on 77 North. So this is our exit. staying pretty warm as I drive so it hasn't needed to heat it up and uh, I'm gonna arrive with about 21% so I should get right up to the 170 kilowatt and it should hold that for a little while and then drop to about 150 and and uh, continue to taper down so in 0.5 miles we're going to turn left into Wolf Creek Parkway this is a super busy area been through here quite a few times before. So we're going to work on getting over to the uh, proper lane that we need. We've got a Best Buy Geek Squad truck in front of us. And I think I have one more here. It's not this light. It is the next light. This is the one I was thinking of. So as we pull down in here, and this is, uh, I believe, a 16 stall, 250 kilowatt version 3, and they're back ends, of course, as they usually are. But as I um, pull down here, right there on the left, there is an EA station. And, uh, we'll see if we can see that. It's super busy. It's two o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Tons of traffic, but we made it in here pretty smoothly. And then coming out of here is actually pretty easy because it's a right and then just go out and jump on the interstate. So just a matter of uh, waiting until the light changes here and we can get through this, uh, this particular intersection. So it looks like we'll have to wait for the next light. The cars didn't uh, stay up with each other. So let's take a look, 18,952 miles, almost 19,000 miles on this uh, 2023 Model 3, um, 232 watt hours per mile overall. See what the energy graph says, nine mile an hour wind that cost us 5.3% and staying below 70 would have saved 4.4%. So lost some range due to that. Overall 259 watt hours per mile, not bad um, for highway speeds. And we're just gonna charge here for a few minutes Uh, get over here and get plugged in you'll see these uh, electrify America stations right up here on my left we'll see if there's any cars there charging or a waiting line sometimes there's a waiting line because their chargers are down looks like you got a BMW iX charging and a uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E and there's a Hyundai Ionic sitting over there parked probably already charged here's a cyber truck sitting at the charger and we're going to go ahead and get plugged in right here on the end um, by the cyber truck. And let's just see what kind of charge we get. I think that's the third one I've seen sitting at chargers. Let's go ahead and get plugged in quick. It is raining here, so. Just coming in 
communicating. And we should see it go green. There we go. We're charging. There's a quick look at the cyber truck. Uh, a lot of Teslas here charging. There's the Spet PetSmart, the Target, and all the other stuff around. So let's see uh, how quickly we're charging. So it's ramped right up. It's saying five minutes remaining. Over 170 kilowatts right away. So this will be a super quick uh, charge. So as I'm sitting here charging, I'm looking at the Cybertruck. I'm seeing the rust around the lug covers because they, they don't have the wheel covers yet. And another Cybertruck literally just pulled in beside this one to charge. So there are two Teslas, uh, two Cybertrucks sitting here at the Tesla Supercharger in uh, Memphis at the North German Town Parkway. Crazy. Anyway, I'm only going to be here um, three more minutes. I'm going to just juice up quick and head down the road and get to Jackson. It's only 64 miles away. I'll probably let myself charge up to you now where I get there with 15, 20%. I'm still pulling 137 kilowatts. It's charging fast. Um, it's jumping right up. So you'll see it's already estimating getting there with 1%. So no big deal. I'm going to keep charging and uh, get ready to take off there's another quick glance at the cyber truck kind of crazy i've not seen two of them at the same charger before so that's a first okay so i was at that last stop uh, about nine minutes um sitting at 53 percent now i've driven about four miles and 504 miles into this roanoke trip so far today next stop in 60 miles so i've got this stop and another one, two quick uh, charging stops, and then one to the hotel where they have uh, level two charging, and hopefully I can get plugged in. If not, there is a Tesla supercharger nearby as well as other charging options. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna ride along here. It is raining, so I'm gonna lose some efficiency. You'll see after coming off of uh, charging, you know, the car's real hot. It's creeping down now all the way to the left um, under current drive it's down to 364 that'll keep dropping it'll level out and uh, should get fairly decent efficiency just due to highway speeds um, not being as fast uh, kind of stop and go or slowing down and speeding up that regen helps and uh, kind of a short leg here though um, about 60 miles left so be there in just a few minutes it looks like so I've road tripped a lot in Tesla's over 100,000 miles on the road, which is a lot more than most people, I'm sure. But it's all been in Model X's or Model Y's. Um, two different Model Y's and two different Model X's. Also a Rivian R1T. Um, I've never road tripped in a Model 3. I'm 6'5", I'm a big guy. Um, Model 3's aren't my car of choice, just, you know, getting down in and getting uh, in and out. Uh, there is actually more room in a Model 3 than there is a Model S for me. But anyhow, I am uh, impressed with the uh, overall efficiency, you know, around 250 watt hours per mile, um, as you see, and it's been that way for the last few legs. It's bringing down that average over 539 miles to 275 watt hours per mile. Uh, I've noticed we've done very short charging sessions, 10 minutes or less for the most part, and they've been very inexpensive, seven to eight, nine dollars max uh, throughout the entire day. Um, with the Model Y, I would have stopped half as often, but the cost is higher because I'm burning more energy. Um, it's just nice, it's efficient, uh, it's smooth, it's a good car, I'm very impressed with it. I would highly recommend one to anyone if you're comfortable getting in and out of a sedan. A uh, Model 3 is an amazing car. Uh, the new revised uh, Highland uh, Model 3s are incredible. Uh, but the fit and finish on this car is good. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's comfortable. Um, I've been impressed. Anyway, 40 miles into this leg, um, 33 minutes, and about 24 miles to go, about 22 minutes. And I will be at the uh, Supercharger in Jackson. And uh, I don't plan to be there more than 15, 20 minutes. I want to get enough juice on. Um, I'll probably hit one more charger right outside of Nashville for a quick top-up and then one to the hotel. Uh, targeting making the hotel by around 6 p.m. I have gained a lot of ground by uh, just splash and dash, quick charging as I've gone, and uh, just utilizing that strategy, kind of hopping charger to charger as you've followed along. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good day, a good road tripping day. I've enjoyed it. And uh, the good news is I'm more than halfway. 
once I hit Jackson, Jackson is the halfway point to Roanoke, Virginia, and then I will be driving another couple hours past that. So uh, my remaining drive tomorrow will be shorter, which is very, very nice. So 542 miles into the drive, we're about to turn 19,000 miles on this uh, Model 3 LFP. Just a great car, really uh, highly recommend it. So I just turned 19,000 miles on this 2023 Tesla Model 3 LFP. I personally have driven this car the last 552 miles. This is my daughter's car. And I just wanted to give you some quick feedback and kind of a quick, you know, 19,000 mile review. Um, this is a phenomenal vehicle. It's, it's charged to 100% every day. Uh, it just works. It's super efficient, very inexpensive to operate. She's had the vehicle two years, as uh, two years actually this December, has not had to do any maintenance, uh, had tires rotated at no additional cost at uh, discount tire. I think she's uh, put washer fluid in it one time. That's it. It's an inexpensive vehicle to buy. She has inexpensive insurance on it. It's got great insurance through Tesla. It's less than $100 a month. Uh, and, you know, she lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This has just been a phenomenal car. You can see the efficiency since delivery, 232 watt hours per mile. Over 19,000 miles, it's only used 4.4 megawatt hours of energy. I mean, this is an incredible, uh, efficient car, smooth, comfortable, quiet, um, has plenty of room. You know, I'm 6'5", I'm sitting back very comfortably in the car. I would recommend a Model Y if you don't wanna, you know, go down to get in and out of the car. Um, a Y does sit a little higher and it's pretty much the same. A Y has a little more space in the back uh, for carrying cargo, but uh, they're very similar cars. And the Model 3s are some great deals to be had, especially on the pre-owned Model 3s. So uh, if you're in doubt, the Model 3 LFP is a wonderful vehicle and uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm backing into the Charger here in Jackson and I am going to get plugged in. And let's see what kind of charging we get at 26% state of charge. Now it is saying 35 minutes, but I will not sit here that long. Um, I'm going to see what it does once I plug it in. It'll update. And these are the new V3s right here. So all of these are up to 250 kilowatts. Let's make sure we are charging. There we are. And that's a 250, that's a 250 where this uh, Denali's blocking a charger. And then uh, over here were the original um, V2s. It looks like they've been upgraded to 250s and there's a couple up there. So 24 spots, incredible. And let's take a look and check the uh, charging rate. Right up to 171 kilowatts, it's saying 25 minutes. I'm gonna check it out and do some trip planning and figure out what I wanna do. Okay, so I just finished charging here at that last Tesla supercharger in Jackson. Can make it all the way to the hotel with about 11%. Gonna ride along for a while and see if uh, that works. If not, there's a couple of bailout options uh, along the way. It had dropped down to um, about 66 kilowatt charging rate, so it didn't make sense to sit there any longer. It charged up to about 80% and then uh, bailed out. Uh, so 19 minutes of charging to go all the way from where it was up to 80 percent this thing does charge really fast it said 35 minutes it took 19. so uh, should be good it's um, fluctuating as you can see as we drive and efficiency gets leveled out it's down to 374 uh, watt hours per mile that'll drop below 300 here momentarily and uh, i'll get a pretty good feel for whether or not we can make it all the way to um, the hotel or I need to just do a quick splash and dash. Either way, should be to the hotel hopefully uh, before six, uh, just depending on Nashville traffic. And that's another reason why I wanted to get out of there was to avoid Nashville traffic. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's another update as I'm getting close to wrapping up the day. About 79 miles left, an hour and 20 minutes to get to the hotel. I've got to get through Nashville traffic yet and unfortunately, it is 4.21 p.m. on a Friday afternoon in late May of 2024, so I know I'm going to hit some traffic. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I've uh, been driving 67 miles, 54 minutes since the last charge, 252 watt-hours per mile. So overall, on this Roanoke trip, 633 miles.
I've burned 172 kilowatt hours of energy and 272 watt hours per mile. So it's uh, still still doing well. 80 degrees out. Uh, I've been running FSD, and I realize it's using a different highway uh, stack than than around town, but it's phenomenal. Um, really enjoying that. Uh, I'm looking forward to having that help me through the Nashville traffic, and uh, I'll be here to supervise it. But uh, yeah, it's been a good trip today, and. Uh, at this point, I left the Dallas-Fort Worth area at 5.45 a.m. Central Time, and it's 4.22. So, uh, if I hit the hotel as scheduled, that'll be a 12-hour day to go a little over 700 miles. So, not too bad, considering. And you saw all the charging stops, if you watched my whole uh, video here on YouTube. Um, you'll see that... Uh, it didn't really hold me up. I didn't wait too much to charge. I mean, every stop I had something going on, uh, using the facilities, uh, getting a beverage, whatever it was, um, they were quick stops. So it's been good. Um, I'm enjoying it, and I will try to post another update or two before uh, the end of the day today, and then this trip will continue on tomorrow. Okay, so now we are 101 miles into this uh, last leg, an hour and 21 minutes, 253 watt hours per mile, a total on this Roanoke trip of 271 watt hours per mile. I've got about 45 miles to go, 53 minutes showing arriving at 541. If that holds true or close to true, that means it's been a 12 hour uh, driving day. Um, here as I head to Roanoke, Virginia from the Dallas Fort Worth area. I'm just kind of watching what uh, Full Self Driving is doing here. It handled that very, very well. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to hit the uh, Nashville area. Probably be a little bit of traffic. Uh, hopefully it won't be too, too bad. Um, of course, it's Friday night uh, after 5 p.m. And uh, we'll hope for the best. But uh, 667 miles so far with 44 more miles to go. Okay, so good morning, YouTube people. It is 5.59 a.m., 64 degrees, and I am just leaving Mount Juliet, Tennessee, headed east towards Roanoke, Virginia on I-40. You'll see um, not the best efficiency starting up this morning. Nine miles, 367 watt-hours per mile. It is cold, and it is windy, and it is raining, so that's killing my efficiency. But I got a full tank of fuel last night at the hotel. Thank you, Hampton Inn, for a free tank of juice. Much appreciated. There were charge point chargers, level twos. And it's showing at uh, 94%, 246 miles remaining. So I am headed to the Bucky's in Sevierville, Tennessee, the supercharger. I may avoid that. Right across the street is an Electrify America Kodak, uh, Tennessee, at the Harley Davidson dealer at the Beef Turkey Outlet, at the, I think there's a Fairfield in there, and it is charging cost by kilowatt hour. Um, it's by the minute and not actually by the kilowatt hour, I should say. And it's very inexpensive and uh, usually works pretty well. Out of four units there, usually one of them's down, but it's not super busy. I've been able to always get a successful charge there, and it's nowhere near as congested as the Bucky's. But I have my daughter and... Uh, She's with me um, as I'm driving her car, this 2023 Model 3 LFP, and she may want to go to Bucky's, so we'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, anyway, I've got uh, two hours and 27 minutes remaining. Should arrive with about 15%, give or take, depending on the weather. And uh, I will keep everyone posted here as we go. Okay, back into clear skies as I get closer to Knoxville. 69 miles away, about one hour. I've driven an hour and 31 minutes so far this morning, and uh, not bad consumption, 285 watt hours per mile, given that I drove through rain and wind for quite a while. Um, car's been doing good. I'm really enjoying this uh, Model 3 LFP. 40% left in the battery, 64 degrees out, and uh, yeah, should arrive with around 12%, and I am going to go to the Bucky's in Sevierville. Um, my daughter wants to spend some time in there, so 
<clears throat> we'll just get some extra juice on the car while she shops around and does what she needs to do at Bucky. So I will post another update here shortly. I am climbing up the uh, one of the mountains here going into Knoxville, as you can see. And the car is just doing its job. Now you'll see there the speed limit just changed and the car automatically adjusted the speed of the vehicle to slow down and flow with traffic. So great job, Tesla. Enjoying it. This has been a good road trip so far. And you can see it's uh, still pretty cloudy, a little bit dreary out, and um, hoping to head more into the sun here in the next hour. So we will see. Okay, so here's a quick trip update. 68 degrees out. It's warming up a little. Um, almost 9 a.m. now, so it's Eastern Time. And uh, 272 watt hours per mile. Been driving 153 miles. Two hours and two minutes. 24% remaining in the battery. I'm going to arrive in about 30 miles with around 11% left. So just quick math, that means I'll have driven 183 miles with 11% left, meaning it would get just over 200 miles on a tank at highway speeds at around 270 watt hours per mile. Overall on this Roanoke trip, pretty good efficiency, 865 miles so far, 268 watt hours per mile. It's been a good trip so far. Good uh, weather, the, the skies, uh, as I hoped, we're seeing sun now, it's clear, and it's warming up, so uh, we're going to get charged up here at Bucky's shortly, I'll, I'll do a video of that in Sevierville, and then i um, going to let it sit and charge while we shop and take care of some things, and then uh, head on towards Roanoke, Virginia. I will probably make one to two more quick charging stops on the way to Roanoke, because I do not have charging at my uh, location. Uh, I do at my office, but not at my uh, garage, so um, I want to top it up before I get to the condo, uh, to my place, my condo. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, figure that out. I may do a quick top up right before. Um, we'll see how it goes though at Bucky's. That's the next stop. Okay, so I am going through the center of Knoxville here in just a minute, Knoxville, Tennessee. See the beautiful blue skies. 68 degrees still, 8.57 a.m. Eastern Time, early June 2024. Pretty good trip so far, 871 miles into this trip. You'll see the efficiency there, 268 watt-hours per mile this morning, 271 watt-hours per mile since last charge. I uh, got free juice at the hotel, fully charged, and... Uh, 23 uh, minutes, 24 miles to Bucky's in Sevierville. Let's just check out, you'll see uh, downtown Knoxville there on the map. Let's just check out what it looks like here as I drive through Knoxville on full self-driving, letting the car do the work. Not much out on this side, as you can see some housing, a um, few local businesses, whatever, but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, not super populated out here. That's uh, Airport Road, I'll call a I'll highway here. I've flown in and out of that airport a number of times, taking people to that airport a number of times. Beautiful greenery through here, though. Okay, the car is moving to a faster lane because we've got a slow car in the left lane. So it's going to do its thing, get around that car.
WNBA, if I recall. A lot of overpasses. Nothing like Spaghetti Junction in uh, Atlanta, though. And before we know it, we'll be on the other side of Knoxville. Hopefully traffic keeps flowing like this. Of course, it's early a.m. on a Saturday morning. So unless something crazy, you know, is going on, we should be able to pass right through here. Okay, so here I am pulling into Bucky's, the destination gas station. It's just enormous here. And we're going to go to the left here to get over to the superchargers. And as you can see, they're, they're down here on the left. get backed in right here once this RV passes. We're going to just back into this one right by the uh, trash can. Just look how busy Bucky's is. Just absolutely crazy. Massive destination gas station. And let me get plugged in and see what kind of speed we can pull at 11% stated charge. Okay, I'm gonna get plugged in. There's a uh, Model 3 Performance over here beside me charging. And another uh, Model 3 rear wheel drive. An older one with the Chrome. The Model Y with a roof container. And let's see if this thing starts charging right away should. There we go. I heard it click and I saw the, uh, the green flashing. 
And let's check our speed. Should ramp up to around 170 kilowatts pretty quick. 120, 144, 169, and 170. There we are. So great job, Tesla. And I will update you. You see it drop to 25 minutes already. So I'm walking back to the Model 3 right there in white. And just wanted to show you. Oh, by the way, it took me about 10 minutes just to walk in and use the restroom and get out of there. It's so busy. But here is the 24 stall supercharger. Just a great location here at this Bucky's. Pet friendly, walking places for pets, plenty of shopping options. So, really, really great job, uh, Bucky's, and great job, Tesla, in picking this location. All right, here is the next status update. Beautiful, beautiful drive up uh, I 81 here, headed towards uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and Tennessee. And I'm 24 miles into this leg, 282 watt hours per mile, going up through the mountains uh, to that Roanoke Valley. 117 miles from my next stop, which is Atkins, Virginia. Um, you'll see about an hour and 40 minutes, should hit there about 11.48 a.m. I'll do a quick uh, 10 to 15 minute top up there, use the facilities, take a bio break, and then um, I'll probably make one more quick stop in Salem, probably off of Electric Road. Um, it's out of sheets and, and do a little top up before I take my car to the garage and park it. 920 miles so far uh, since yesterday morning. That's a little over 24 hours. 920 miles, 267 watt hours per mile. So always going well today, 73 degrees. It's slowly warming up and a uh, beautiful day. So here's a quick video update, <clears throat> 72 miles into this drive, 261 watt hours per mile, and uh, 69 miles out, only one hour, so 24% estimated upon arrival, I get off the exit here in 68 miles, all is well, 79 degrees out, um, overall 968 miles on this Roanoke, Virginia trip, so it's been an adventure. Um, just uh, almost a thousand miles in just over 24 hours in a uh, 2023 Tesla uh, Model 3 LFD rear wheel drive and it's done a great job so I'm gonna keep riding and uh, I will update you here as I get to the supercharger in Atkins now it's bumped up saying 25% remaining so we'll see what happens all right and here we are cruising along I-81, just passing the Abington, the Damascus exit. We've got 32 miles to go, about 28 minutes, driven 110 miles in an hour and 30 minutes, 261 watt hours per mile, 266 watt hours per mile total, and over a thousand miles on this Roanoke trip, 1,005 miles. And you'll see this uh, 2023 Model 3 LFP now has 19,457 miles. It will top over 20,000 miles this trip, and it'll probably top 21,000 until we get back to Texas. So just riding along, beautiful out, 80 degrees, um, getting great efficiency now, and just enjoying the drive up here through the mountains in Virginia. Um, pretty, pretty amazing. So um, my feedback is this car is fantastic, super efficient, very inexpensive to drive and operate and uh, I've really been enjoying it. Let's take a look and see. The last charging stop was $14.98. We went from 10%, actually 11% to 90%. So that's nearly a full tank of fuel for $14.98 on the road. Not bad. And uh, we are headed here to the next stop. We'll be there in just a few minutes, 27 minutes it looks like to be exact, and I will update you from there. So, change of plans, got some good efficiency. I'm headed down the uh, mountain here towards Chilhowie. You can see that. I can make it to the Electrify America. It's in a sheet in Withville with 12% state of charge remaining. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head to that uh, Electrify America. Uh, I'm going to fill up there. I'll be that much closer to my final destination in Roanoke. That's usually a pretty good charger. If not, there is a supercharger near there. So uh, that's my route plan now. Uh, 126 miles into this drive, and I've got uh, 35 more miles to go. So headed to the Sheets in Withville, Virginia. 
So I will be getting off the exit for Withville, Virginia in just a few miles, exit 70. And right off the exit is a fairly new Sheets uh, gas station. And there are four Electrify America stalls, uh, a 150 with a Chatamo, um, two 350s, and another 150. So a total of four. And uh, yeah, this leg's been very efficient. 257 watt hours per mile. I'm um, 1,053 miles into this Roanoke trip, and uh, I'm going to arrive with around 12% state of charge, so very, uh, very efficient leg, a good leg, beautiful weather, beautiful mountains here um, in Virginia, and just super, super scenic, um, really cool looking as I uh, drive through the south, south, southwest part of uh, Virginia, headed into uh, Roanoke. Anyway, I'm going to get plugged in, and then I'll try to catch a little uh, video if I can and show you the uh, CCS1 adapter and the Electrify America station and the Sheets uh, gas station. This may be my last charging stop uh, since I was able to get closer to Roanoke. Um, I think I need to take some time and do a few things there uh, if I'm able to do that, and we'll see what state of charge the car's at. We may not need to stop again and just head straight to uh, my place there in Roanoke. So going to be interesting and uh, I will update you here in just a few minutes. So I'm just sitting here waiting to turn. Over here is the sheets with the Electrify Americas. The uh, old school Escalade pickup truck in front of me um, decided he could not go through a yellow light. So as cars were moving and the light just turned yellow, he slammed on his brakes and stopped. And so now we're going to sit through another light cycle. But uh, that might be typical of this area. It looks like Pennsylvania plates, so I don't know, maybe they're not familiar with the area, whatever. Anyway, arriving with 12%, drove 162 miles, 254 watt hours per mile, doing good overall on this Roanoke trip, and uh, the car's doing good overall. So, um, yes, 73 degrees, it is a little chilly here in Withville today. But this uh, charging station, this Electrify America, right across the street from Walmart, a Lowe's, tons of stores. Uh, there's a Goodwill donation center up there on the hill, a Captain D's, Bojangles up on the hill behind Sheets. Plenty of options. So hopefully I get through this light um, in the next five minutes, and, and here we go. And let me uh, show you where this uh, Electrify America station is. I'm able to pull in here in just a second. So see, it's back against the bank here. Um, and station two and four are both 350 kilowatts, so I'm gonna get plugged in and I'll capture the video in just a second. And here's the Electrify America charger. There's actually four cars there now. As I pulled in, a Honda Ionic pulled in, a Nissan Leaf, an F-150, and the Tesla Model 3, but it's here at this Sheets that I mentioned. It's actually a great stop right off the interstate. Very clean and uh, very nice. So, hope everyone has a great day. Okay, I'm back on the road again. Um, did a fairly quick charge up there at the Electrify America. Less than 15 minutes. I would need to look on the Electrify America app, except it doesn't show. It was free, free vend, and um, yeah, their system didn't uh, show me any details. But I'm gonna say it was around 12 or 13 minutes I was there. I am now riding on the way to uh, Roanoke, Virginia. I've only got 68 miles left, an hour and four minutes, just over an hour. Cruising along at 239 watt hours per mile. Super efficient because I'm going up and down the mountain. Right now I'm going up and then I'll be going back down. So uh, overall it's a decline in elevation from here to Roanoke. So. Um, I will uh, do fairly well on efficiency. And uh, overall on this trip, look at that, 1,070 miles, 265 watt hours per mile. Just amazing. It's been a great trip, um, 77 degrees out. Gonna hit my uh, work location, my, my place in Roanoke, Virginia, in a hour, almost to the button, but at 1.36 p.m. So, Better than I anticipated. I expected to get there between 2 and 3, probably 2, 2.30. Uh, really made great time today. Charging was not an issue, as you saw. Just a couple of uh, fairly quick stops. And, um, you know, one thing from being more experienced with road tripping in an EV, 
having the CCS combo adapter, which is uh, right here, having this adapter and being able to plug into any CCS charger um, until everything switches over to the Tesla charging standard, the NAX, NACS, North American Charging Standard Adapter. It's so nice to have that because I was able to optimize that EA station um, is right off of the interstate, right off of the highway. Whereas the Tesla supercharger that's in Withville is an older version too. And if you pull in and there's more than four cars there, uh, you split charge. So you only get 72 kilowatts per vehicle max. So uh, I got a great charge, plugged right in, activated with tap to pay with my um, Electrify America RFID card that's on my Apple wallet. I just simply tapped it. It activated in seconds. It was actually pretty responsive and jumped right up to 170 kilowatts. Did a great job um, all the way to, I charged to about 70%. Um, and it was quick, worked great. So that's a great option to have, something I highly recommend. I'll be closing this video out soon. I may catch one or two more little clips for you, but uh, this is a beautiful drive um, down along Interstate 81 North. And uh, you'll see it's just up and down elevation. There's a Tesla in front of me, a uh, Model Y long range. Not a ton of Teslas around the Roanoke, Virginia area. But I uh, did have somebody tell me they saw a Cybertruck right around Roanoke. So that's interesting. Um, there is a Rivian DC fast charger in Roanoke, not far from my place. And I've actually charged at that multiple times. They have both level two chargers and the Rivian fast charging network, which they're opening that network up soon as well, which will give me a great fast charging uh, option right by my place in Virginia. So beautiful day. Look at look at the uh, the area. Just gorgeous around here. I know all you can see right now is trees, but it's a, it's spectacular views. Just ride along for a minute and check it out, and then I'll uh, try to give you a wrap up here very very shortly. So I just programmed in a route change and right away it came up preconditioning battery for fast charging. So I'm going to head to the supercharger in Salem, Virginia on Apperson Drive. And it's an eight stall version three um, Tesla supercharger. And uh, it is at a Sheets gas station, as I mentioned before. Charged there plenty of times. It works great. It's actually a pretty new location. So um, I'm going to head there, <clears throat> plug in just for, you know, five to ten minutes because tomorrow my daughter has to road trip this vehicle from uh, Virginia to another state and back over a few days. So um, I wanted her to start out with, you know, a good 70 or so percent on the battery. <clears throat> we may go do some shopping later in the Roanoke area and there are some level two chargers so she may be able to top up and get some additional juice beyond that. This is the LFP pack, so it can sit at 100%, no problem. But yeah, we're going to go and just stop in there at that Sheets, plug in for 5 to 10 minutes, get a quick charge. Um, that way she starts out with plenty of range in the morning as she heads uh, north on her little journey. So uh, I will show you that supercharger here in just a few minutes. This is by far the most efficient leg of the trip, but take a look at what I'm doing here, going down... Um, the mountain and then back up and it's been constant but 225 watt hours per mile over 54 miles better than the lifetime average of the car which is a good 50 percent local commuting really really efficient and impressive 1111 miles on this Roanoke Virginia trip and I'm 22 minutes 17 miles from the supercharger in Salem but I just wanted to share you know, this last leg you would think with the mountains up and down, up and down would be the least efficient. It's actually the most efficient leg of the entire trip. 
I mean, I've been driving for 45 minutes, 54 miles, and, you know, I'm less than 250 watt hours per mile, around 225 watt hours per mile, which is incredible. So, uh, yeah, it's doing a great job, around 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour, running up and down the mountains of Virginia. This really is a beautiful, beautiful drive through here. Just let you check it out for a minute. And by the way, FSD has been pretty much flawless. It has driven the majority of these 1,112 miles. I, maybe 50 miles it didn't drive, tops. Uh, maybe some when it was raining, but for the most part, the car has done the driving and I've just kind of been supervising. So, absolutely fantastic experience, no question. Well, I'm about to end this leg here in five miles, uh, headed to the supercharger in Salem. 213 more hours long. It's gotten even better. So that's been remarkable. You know, only burning 14 kilowatts to go 66 miles. Pretty amazing. Anyway, I've got FSD running. Just wanted to see how it did getting me off the exit um, and down to the stop sign. So this is with FSD engaged. It just turned the uh, turn signal on and well, that's a little treacherous, a little jerky, and I shut it off. That exit had construction, and the car kind of swerved all over the place. Not what I like. It would have made it, but um, I gave a little force and took over because of the way it was jerking around. So that's interesting. First time it's messed up this whole trip. See you at the charger. Okay, I'm about to pull into the Tesla Supercharger here in Salem, Virginia. This is at the Sheets on Epperson Drive. And uh, I just gotta get up here to the intersection, turn left at this light, and then uh, we'll turn right into Sheets. Let's take a look at a quick recap. You will see my stats here down below. 71 miles an hour and four minutes, 206 watt hours per mile, and uh, overall, 1,128 miles, 295 kilowatt hours of energy, and 261 watt hours per mile. So it's showing that there's two cars that are charging. So there's six stalls available. Let's see if that's accurate. It may not be. And uh, we're going to get plugged in here real quick, put five to ten minutes of juice in, and then take off. So here is the sheets. The chargers are back here in the corner. Been to this one before. And uh, there is one car charging. So I'm going to get plugged in there on the install. And uh, let me give you a quick update on charging speed. And by the way, they have the lines wrong at this one. Well, they have it centered, I guess, for future EVs. And I think this one uh, works with the NAX compatible vehicles if you have the adapter. But let me get back in real close and get plugged in here and let's check it out so installing them in the center actually works um, because the handles over on that side so right away it picked up there's another model uh, Y over here charging and here's the sheets and let's check it out and see what speeds we're getting at this high state of charge we're at 43 percent and it's jumping up there's 143 kilowatts 163 wow that's really impressive at that state of charge 164 kilowatts good deal and by the way i'm gonna end the video at this point i'm only five or so minutes 10 minutes from my uh, place here in virginia so 1128 miles on this trip 295 kilowatt hours of energy very inexpensive the road trip it's been great thank you for following along and i hope everybody has a great day watch for my video of the trip coming back uh, to texas from virginia very very soon